women's singles final. And uh, what a match it uh, should be. On the right for Malaysia, Ong Yu Hock, 26 years old today. But he has an awesome task against Sun Yun of China. 22 years old, the number two seed, former world junior champion, the man who's been unlucky in the uh, big occasions so far. And uh, last year lost to Dong Zhong in the All England final. Let's have a look at their run to the final and how impressive is that? Barely extended. A pretty good draw for him, it has to be said, but he's dismissed the people who came in his way summarily. And Ong was a totally different path to the final. A very difficult draw indeed. Peter Gay Christensen in the third round, the world number one, the number one seed. And he beat him 15-9 in the third game. Then the uh, legend, Herianto Arbe, dismissed in straight games. And he was very, very good indeed in his uh, semi-final yesterday against Hendrawan coming, as you can see, from a game down to win, going away in the end. One. Again, amazing reactions from Sun Jun. Speared at him, but he was able to control it. Yeah, it's, it's just incredible. He's obviously so full of confidence at the moment that he's not panicking even when he is in trouble. He's, he's got that calm reaction. Resilience, though, from Ong Yu Hock. Sutton disappointed, of course, he missed the final shot, but uh, Ong doing very well under pressure. One, five. Yes, I think that perhaps a rally like that can really give Ong Yu Hock the sort of confidence he needs to perhaps get back into this match. So it's over. It's so awfully difficult one. when Sun Jun is playing as well as this. Yes, you get confidence momentarily, and then he smacks it at you as quickly as that. Such deception. One. Yes, just incredible. Onyu Hock is one of the fastest players on the circuit. He needs to be made to look slow today. Nowhere near that. Well played. So it's over. One, six. Over six one. Didn't look a bad serve, but uh, just crashed back. Is these openings where none seem to exist? Yes, it's just incredible Seven, because one. he's reading the game so well. First of all, the smash, he knows exactly where the reply is going to come, and then he follows it in so quickly to the net. Yes. So often he's gone across to the forehand. There are a couple down the line of the backhand. Eight. Always one. making his opponent guess as to where the shuttle's going to come. Quickly, so much into his game, you can understand if it does go long, how he does get injury prone. Thank you. If Ong. anyone's going to suffer from cramp, it's going to be him. Yes, absolutely. Ong. I think I think the thing is, it's the way he can inject the pace. Sometimes within the rally, he almost seems to be walking back to base, and then suddenly these big jump smashes. Smash speed, which compares uh, favourably with uh, Mr. Rosetsky and uh, the rest of them. A 
will be right up there as well. Nine one. In slow motion, it's a pretty phenomenal sight. Congratulations to Ong, who throughout this barrage has never hung so his head. Over one nine. No, absolutely. It, it takes a lot of courage to keep in there fighting the way he has done. Service over, nine, two. Hand-eye coordination. Oh. Ten, Give him an inch. two. I don't know how he plays that shot. He's moving backwards so quickly. When your body weight is going back to hit the shuttle across court is so difficult. Just too much. Eleven, but you can understand why two. he might fall into that trap. Eleven two. play from on a couple of really amazing so net shots over to 11 Is a credit to his character Three, that he's kept 11. this going. Absolutely. Yeah. And now the Malaysians really getting excited. Yeah, rather than getting down about the fact that he's a game and so far Four, down in the second, 11. it seems to have fired him up even more. He's not going to win, you have to say that, but this is a, a good show. <laughs> Terrific run. Five, eleven. Showing true personality here. Coach like Morton Frost, 11, there's nothing you can do against the caliber of a player of Sun Jun. <laughs> Drops it stone dead out of nowhere. Twelve. It's just Five. unbelievable. I mean, he's hit the smashes from round the head there. Now he puts in the drop shot as well. Yes. Again, extreme guile. And... Uh, Service over. Extreme Five, accuracy. 12. 
anticipated the net so well. The idea was good. Five. Right to go for a drop shot. And the second one. <laughs> Looking for winners all the time. He seems to be so a lot more purposeful five. within the rally. Twelve. He is paying dividends for him. Over. Must have been tempting. 12, saw the opportunity. Six. Saw Sun out of place. After working so hard six. to get in almost a threatening position, it's not threatening quite at the moment, but another couple of points and it would be. And then this. Wide again, excellent defense. Come on, yes. And the more he does actually get back of the attacking Six. play of Sun Jun, the more Sun Jun will think he's got to go for the lines, and that's when he'll start making errors as he did on that last one. So it's over. The groan tells you everything. Six. have done more and that's the story really of the match she's played pretty well on but this has been uh, a tour 14, de force match point and he's a six. point away from the all england title to finish it in the grand so it's over. he's that Six, kind of guy 14. there was uh, an impish smile not far away from his face which uh, compliments his play just hurls himself so at those over. 14 6 Match point for the second time. <laughs> He's not going to finish it in the orthodox so way. So over six fourteen.
a little lazy. 7 14. Read him like a book. Absolutely, just phenomenal. So it's over. It's uncanny ability be, to be in the right place at the right time. So will it be third time lucky? No, it's long. Game. And Sun Jun has won the All England. What a talent, hope you enjoyed that at home as much as we did here. An exciting player, not just for his compatriots, but for everyone who's watched him. Stephen Badley, the Chief Executive of the Badminton Association of England. A magnificent trophy and a cheque for 13,000 US dollars.